So velocity, one of the um, problems that we're always interested in for velocity is grit basins. So we're going to say we, we want the velocity in the grit basin to be about one foot per second. Okay, if we keep the velocity at one foot per second, what's going to happen in the grit basin is the lighter organic material is going to pass through into the treatment plant and the really heavy stuff, which is sand grit, eggshells, uh, larger particles of organic are going to go to the bottom. We don't want too much organic material in the grit because then it won't pass the paint filter test and it's going to smell bad and putrefy in the dumpster. So gross. <laughs> so most of the time we're trying to get this one foot per second out there in the grit basin. So let's say we have a grit basin and our grit basin is 20 feet long four feet wide and six feet deep and we want to know what is the maximum amount of flow that we can put through here in MGD in order for this to have a velocity pretty close to one foot per second. So we're going to start with our velocity equation um, and volume is always shown as big capital letter V when you're abbreviating and velocity is sort of this little Greek V with the wings on it. Okay, So velocity is going to be flow per area. Well, we know what the velocity is that we want. We want one foot per second. We don't know what the flow is, so we'll just put that in. Area, we need to go find the area. So the area for this grit basin, at least the area that we're interested in, normally we say length times width. Mm -hmm. So which, which dimensions do we want for this particular grit basin? Do you want uh, width times uh, feet or uh, depth? Yeah, feet times depth. And a good way to think about this is if you're driving down the highway doing, you know, whatever speed that you're going, if it's Nebraska, maybe 80 miles per hour, uh, because there's nothing to hit out there. If you're going that fast and somebody tacks an extra 500 feet onto the end of the highway, that doesn't impact your speed at all. Right? What matters is how fast the telephone poles are going by. Right, so we got four feet and then six feet is our other dimension. So the area is 24 square feet. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. 24 square feet. And now we have to rearrange our equation just a little bit. So to move the 24, we're going to do the opposite. So we're dividing now, so we're going to go ahead and multiply this side by 24 square feet. And we're going to multiply the other side by 24 square feet. And what we end up with is a flow of 24, and it's squeet feet, but the best squeet square feet times feet gives me cubic feet, and we still have the per second hanging out there. So that's flow in CFS. But what they asked for was flow in million gallons per day. So we have to convert. Okay, so there's 24 CFS cubic feet per second and there are 1.55 cubic feet per second in 1 MGD. So that'll let us convert.
Okay, so that, uh, that grit basin doesn't seem very big, but I can put 15.4 million gallons per day through it and still have my velocity that I want to get of one foot per second. 